Three women in eastern Kentucky reached a milestone today. They graduated from the pretrial substance abuse program at the Pike County Detention Center. Officials say the rate at which they relapsed to drugs is less than 15% for graduates. WYMT's Chandler Markey spoke to one graduate who says the program changed her life. Jesus. Brandy Brown did not always have a song in her heart. Brown began using drugs when she was 18 and lost control of her life. I started out smoking marijuana um, and then it escalated when I got to college. Um, I started to do um, pills and uh, it escalated from there to uh, using the needle, things like that. Brown ended up in the substance abuse program at the Pike County Detention Center. Six months later, she and two other female inmates are celebrating their graduation from the program. But that's not the only reason Brown is celebrating. She expects to be released from jail Friday. My life has uh, it's done a complete 360. Um, I'm, uh, I'm truly grateful for that. Those who run the program say it forces women to examine their choices and relationships. They have really put the time and the effort into it to take a look at their lives and look at their struggle and, and, and develop some tools. That's what we try to do. We try to equip them with the tools so that they make better decisions in the future. Drug court programs are funded by the state. They could be impacted if budget cuts proposed by the governor are passed. District Judge Kelsey Friend says the future of drug court will depend on how much the Department of Corrections can set aside. There is, this has been one of the programs that the state has inclined to cut. It is certainly a program that does not need to be cut. An opinion shared by Brown, who says the program has given her hope. I plan on uh, just staying sober and just going to my NA meetings and, and doing everything the right way. I have all the knowledge. I just have to put it in action now. As these women dance their way to a sober life. In Pike County, Chandler Markey, WYMT Mountain News. There are 14 women in the substance abuse program. Jailer Freddie Lewis says men also participate in the program at the Pike County Detention Center, and they take around 70 men.